Diane in Denmark here. This is just a little video for fun. As I've said before, this is not a cookery channel, but um, if you are working with us on Instagram, remember, just go to the hashtag Diane in Denmark and you'll see people posting what they're making for dinner. You'll see me with my shiny sink, my outfit for tomorrow. Uh, I've posted several times, you know, what we're having for dinner and that we often have hot bread rolls. And there were several comments saying, oh gosh, how do you have time to make those? Well, the truth is, it really doesn't take long at all. If you've kind of got your groundwork done to begin with, you know, if your sink is shiny, you've got your routines done, actually doing something like that, it doesn't take much time. Plus, if you have a really good foolproof, easy recipe, which I'm about to share with you, so anyway, just for fun, I'm, I'm going to make this one of these um, using the magic timer videos because, you know, quite often I've told you that I like to use the timer as not just as a timer counting down, you know, when we do our 15 minutes of detail cleaning, not just counting down, but I like to use it as a stopwatch because quite often there'll be things that we say, oh, I don't want to do it like, you know, unloading. Um, well, you can't see it here, but this is, this is my dishwasher down here. When we actually start using the, the uh, timer as a stopwatch, we can see that it actually doesn't take that much time at all. And we've just got to wrap our brains around that. Sorry, the birds are being very noisy today. Anyway, I'll talk louder. So what I'm going to do is, I'm, I've got my apron on and I've washed my hands. But otherwise, what you're about to see is how I make bread rolls. And this recipe is uh, Leanne Ely's recipe. Uh, you know, saving dinner, you know, fly lady's buddy, Leanne, um, who's always really funny to watch and to listen to. This was something she sent out in 2009. I actually had to go back and find the, the email. And it was for breadsticks. But I've just, at the time, I couldn't be bothered making the breadsticks. So it just turned into making bread rolls. So I've been using this recipe since 2009. Works every time, doesn't take any effort and you're about to see how fast it is. So I'll, I'll make the bread rolls. I'll show you how to do it. You don't even need to get your hands dirty. Um, and then I'll pause the video when it will be, you know, the rising time. Wait till we get to that. You're going to have a laugh. Uh, and then, you know, we'll see them at the end. So anyway, uh, let's get going. I'm going to start my timer, so I'm going to use it as a stopwatch and off we go. Let me see. I've been talking for three minutes. Okay, it's not going to take long. Right, okay, timer's on. Okay, I've taken out my um, bowl and all, first of all, I like to line up my ingredients so I don't forget anything, you know, scatter brained much. Now, I know this recipe off by heart because I've been using it for, since 2009. Uh, but I'll, I'll put the recipe in the, in the light. Okay, so let me see that and that. And I've got all my baking supplies in one drawer, so it's easy. There we are. And I'll tell you them as I put them in. Some salt, sugar. And I've got my herb drawer here as well. I know herbs and spices. Pick a few of those. And... ready and I'm ready to start wash my hands I've got my pinny on it's not often you see me in my pinny I don't wear pinnies when I'm cleaning or anything but in the kitchen I just can't do anything unless I'm got a pinny on right I hope you can see let me see if I move it down a bit oh no that's not very good is that better okay there we are okay now you're going to be able to see it right I've got my ingredients and what I'm going to do is, uh, sometimes I make a mess with flour, so I like to put down a, a, a tea towel underneath just so I'm not making a big mess. So first of all, I'm taking my flour. And it's three cups, three cups of flour. That's why I use this big one. 
a wee bit more. That'll do it. You can eyeball this, it's not an exact size. Okay, that was three cups of flour. And then I'm going to add in, I've got my cutlery drawer here. See? Uh, I'm going to add in a package of uh, dried yeast. These are really great to have because um, they keep for months and months and you don't have to do that. <laughs> Just that very fact of having to crumble live yeast and mix it with water, you know, I just think, oh, that's going to take too long. Right, so I put my yeast in my flour and then I've got my little measuring thing and I'm going to do uh, one, or one tablespoon of uh, sugar, honey, sweetener, whatever, whatever you want, but it, it needs, the yeast needs some sugar to work with. And then I'm going to do, just get my last thing. Um, one teaspoon of salt. I, I like it salty, you can use less if you want. And then three tablespoons of oil. Just kind of any plant oil that you've got is easy. Two, three, there we go. You can go straight to the dishwasher. Because I emptied my dishwasher this morning, so it should be easy to do these things. Right. And then I'm going to add in just a wee sprinkle of uh, herbs. Today I'm using rosemary and dill, <clears throat> or dill weed as they call it in the States, which is really kind of funny. I think weed, anyway. Okay, and this is, if you want to make uh, kind of sweet rolls, you don't need to add in these. Um, that was just from the original thing. And then I'm just adding in some sesame seeds because because my, my uh, family has eaten these so many times. <clears throat> I just try and make them a bit different each time. Right, and then one and a third cups of very hot water, you know, tap water is fine. And listen, don't worry about it being hot. These are going to be cooked. Uh, I once asked um, a chef about this and she said there was no problem about using from the hot tap for bacteria. Uh, it, it's not a problem. Right. And I'm just going to take a big spoon. Here we are. And start mixing. Right, can you see it? And the thing that I love about this recipe is you don't even have to get your hands dirty. Okay, then it'll start coming together. Do you see that? It's come together. Let's see how we're doing for time. Okay, five minutes on the clock. But I was talking for, um, oh no, no, hold up, yeah, five minutes. Right, and then, you're going to add a wee bit more flour. It can be anything from half a cup to a cup. Um, but I like to just add a wee bit at a time. If, you, if you're not used to, you know, baking and making bread, maybe it's best to measure out a cup separately and just add it. But, I mean, I've, I've done this before. I've got a safety net in place. Okay, and all you want to do is just keep adding a wee bit of flour until it doesn't look so um, kind of wet anymore. I'll show you in a minute. Right. And you're not kneading it or anything because you've used so much yeast. Uh, this is a, a very quick rise, last minute recipe, you know, if you've forgotten to buy bread. Which, of course, you don't forget now, do you? Because you're using a fire lady system. Nudge, nudge, right, quick. Right, okay, there we go. I'm just kind of pushing it down into the bowl. And do you see it's kind of firmed up? Uh, and I'll just add a wee drop to the top. Now, here comes the fun part. You're just going to leave this, you know, on a sunny windowsill or near a radiator. It really doesn't matter. It, it, it doesn't matter if it doesn't get a lot of heat. 
it's going to rise on its own. And guess how long? Guess how long you have to leave it for? Come on, guess. <gasps> the fly lady, 15 minutes. What is that? Leanne actually said 10 in hers, but 15 works really well. And what will you be doing while you're waiting for it to rise? Well, you could go off and do a detail clean. I'll put a link up there, or you could do some decluttering, or you could go and pamper for 15 minutes. You can go and paint your nails. Uh, right, so I'm going to leave this to rise. Uh, I'm going to put away my... Um, Ingredients again. Remember, do a poopa. As my kid, my kids love that expression. Oh, mum, I did a poopa today. Uh, pick up and put away. If you if you take things out, put them away. I'm going to stop the uh, video here and the time. There we are. Okay, seven seven minutes and fifty three seconds. And it's actually much quicker when when you do it on your own when I'm not kind of talking. Uh, and I'll come back when it has risen. So here we are. Here's the before. And the link, the after will be there in a minute. Okay, so see you very soon. Yay! By the power of television, magic, whatever. You see, it's um, almost doubled in size. I'm just going to start my timer running again. I don't know if you can hear in the background, but I switched on the oven. I did that about five minutes ago. Hold on, let me get the timer going. Um, so you've got a nice hot oven and all I'm going to do is I'm going to now scoop them out and put them onto my baking sheet. So just hold on, get this one out of my um, oven gloves which sit underneath in the drawer. Yeah. Now you can hear the oven. Right, okay. one big baking tray and I always use uh, baking parchment, you know baking paper. And that goes back in the drawer. Remember to poop -a. Right. Now, to scoop them out. Oh, what's happened to you? Something has gone wrong with them. Ah, they were. Ah, okay. Uh, I, I like to use um, an ice cream scoop. So, I put all my ingredients away. I did a poopa. Let me see, hold on, let me see if we can bring you down a bit so you can see some of the action. There we are. Okay, now you can kind of see. Uh, all I'm doing is I've got my uh, dough here, and you can see if you start mix it again it's a wee bit wet so I'm just going to add a wee tiny bit more of the flour on the top so it's not kind of quite sticking to everything right and then here comes the fun part I use the um, ice cream scoop and I just take a scoop and put it on the sheet. And that way, I don't get my uh, hands all messy. And also, you know, kids love to do this. You know, even if, it's, even if there's no ice cream involved, there's something fun about using an ice cream scoop. And I do this a lot for, you know, for making um, fairy cakes, stuff like that, because then you're getting like an even portion every time. Right. There. And it doesn't matter if some are a bit bigger than the other, but others, but you want them fairly evenly sized, because otherwise some are going to cook faster. And sometimes I like to put them close together so that they look like a little flower and then you can pull them off. Alright, okay, I think I've got like two more here. One. And ah, I can get 
one more out of it. Okay, the last one. Let me see, I've got one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I managed to get about um, 14, 15 out of the mixture. And those, here we are, see? Not much clean up there either. And then those are going to go into the oven, uh, and I should have told you what it was. It's um, 200 degrees centigrade, which is 400 Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit. Don't ask me what it is in gas, you need to go and look that up. But I mean, if you've done any kind of cooking before, you'll kind of have a good idea of, of what those are. Uh, and I don't even, you know, I didn't, don't even put on a, an egg wash or oil or anything. Uh, if you want to, you may want to sprinkle some seeds to make them look a bit chefy, um, but actually it's not necessary. Right. Okay, those are going in the oven. And I don't know, did I tell you that and I just used plain flour? You can use wholemeal flour, whatever you have. There's one in it. And uh, I cook them for about 12 minutes. I start checking them after 12. But I'm going to stop the timer now because you can see how long has it taken us to make those. You know, without the, the 15 minutes where we went off and we did a detail clean. 13 minutes. And it's just going to take me another minute to put, to do a poopa, to put, pick up these things and put them away. So I shall see you when the rolls come out of the oven. So now I'm going to set my timer. There we are. I'm going to set my timer for 12 and I'm going to check on them after 12 minutes. See you, see you very soon. Right, time is up. I just had a quick look. a little fun fact. <clears throat> Did you know that in Denmark they do not have um, double oven gloves? You can only get single ones, but I don't know, but I really like to have the two to feel secure. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> that's how long it took. I mean, it took me 15 minutes to mix up the rolls, put them onto the baking tray, get them in the oven. It took about um, 13 minutes to get them cooked. And voila, you are all ready to uh, bathe in the accolades of the family when they come in and smell the, uh, smell the warm bread. Uh, and if you can hear, I'm just going to put these over here to cool off right now. And, and you know what I'm going to do before the, the family gets to them? I'm going to have one when they've cooled off a bit with... Um, the Danes have this really good expression called tent smur which is teeth butter. And that's when you put on so much butter that you can actually see teeth marks in it. I love that. Anyway, uh, while I was waiting for the rolls to come out of the oven, you know, in the, the 12, 13 minutes they were cooking, I actually went ahead and started, uh, we're having minestrone soup tonight. It's my a recipe for my mum. Uh, so I have, uh, it's basically just any veggies that you have. You see that? There we go. Uh, they need used up in the fridge uh, and I'm just about to add in a handful of rice and some uh, pasta, a tin of tomatoes, some stock and, um, and some beans and Bob's your uncle. Anyway, that was it for me today, just to show you how you can use your timer as a stopwatch and get things done that you really don't want to have, you really don't want to do or you think you don't have the time, all right? So anyway, that's it for me. Diane in Denmark, I'm going to finish off my uh, minestrone soup and then I'm going to have a nice hot roll with some teeth butter and see you very soon. Live long and prosper.